Well, hi, good morning, friends. This is Muhammad Majid Sohil, a petroleum engineering student from Chennai. So today, in this presentation, we'll be having a precise information on workover operation in upstream oil and gas industry. Hope further you'll be having an informative session. So let's move forward towards outline of this presentation. So as you could see from this slide, the overall outline of this presentation will involve what is workover, why it is needed, and how it is done, and what are the units involved in it. At last, as we all know, everything has an endpoint. So conclusion, let's move forward. Before getting into what is workover, I would like to explain you Crocs crew effect. So I think I have told this to my school, I mean my college mates and my colleagues whomever from petroleum engineering. So Crocs crew effect. So this is something those who haven't come across this terminology. So it is something really important. I thought to have a clear diagram, but I couldn't. So whenever we are drilling an oil and gas well, it is something about 8,000 feet to 15,000 feet. So when we are supposed to drill from normal subsurface, from surface to subsurface, it is something a huge one. So the wells are not going to be a normal like a straight line what we used to see in this picture from the right hand side. It is not as same as what you are looking at that. So from this left towards I have drawn some scribble, right? So from it's like just goes on like a normal snake. So that is how a hole used to be when it is drilled to when it is normally drilled in huge depth. So this makes, this is also one of the factor which makes the whole process quite tedious. So we have to make sure that casing have been centralized and cementing have been joined as much as effectively and the pay zones have been, per, should be perforated accuracy. So these are all the parameters which makes the whole process quite tedious. So I hope you could just determine how much complex it is to complete a, a well and to produce it without any operations, without any problems. So that is why uh, upstream oil and gas industry has lots of technology advancement. Even day by day, we could see some new findings and new methodologies to approach that problem. Well, work over. Whenever, when we are, whenever we are come across with a new word or a new terminology we used to raise two common question that is why what it is and why it is done right so what is work over as the name represents work and over work plus over to be simple to make it simple work plus over is a set of operation which is done after a genuine work has is done so let's say we have drilled a well and we are producing it for five years Later on, we found that there is a leak in tubing, so we have to replace the leak, we have to replace the tubing, and if there is cement is not properly, so we have to do squeeze cementing. If there is any, let's say a zone is completely drained, so we have to rupture other pay zone and deplete the existing pay zone. So these are all the process, these are all the reason why workover is done. So it has a different process like these all these works will be carried out in this particular agenda so it involves some different units like coil tubing snubbing and wire line so we'll by upcoming next slides we'll just have a precise look on reason of workover and the process which is carried out and units so the workover operations it is widely classified into two aspects one is in mechanical problems and one is reservoir related problems so in mechanical problems you could see that tube and uh, i mean the tubing is going to start leaking and there is some production equipment which is not working properly and if the casing is not something a cement has going to be cracked and that is also a type of mechanical problem and the tools have been dropped into the wellbore and fishing it is also a kind of mechanical problem and plugging and having retrieving the tubes and placing your chokes and having a plugs and servicing, cleaning the wellbore, it is all a kind of mechanical problem. So what does this mean about reservoir related problems? So reservoir related problems, we could say that well stimulation, it is also a kind of workover. So that it comes under reservoir related problems. 
and well killing it comes under reservoir related problems and then zone replacement or zone transfer it comes under reservoir related problems so if further we if, if we just move further we'll be having some information on it as i've told you so mechanical reasons repair replacement of disadvantaged equipment replace artificial lift equipment cement and casing problems various in reservoir i've told you zone transfer stimulations convert well from production to injection repair natural damage within the well so i hope this gives you some clear information how do work over operations are classified one is on mechanical reason one is on reservoir related reason so mechanical reason involves these three factors reservoir involves these four factors so we'll move ahead so as i've told you in this uh, what do be the zone in first picture you could see that there are two zones one is in zone a and one is zone b zone a it was producing but now it is drained so it is completely packed with cement now that particular zone b has been sealed or even you can say that is a killed so zone a have been perforated for producing oil and gas from that particular pay zone so next pic clearly shows you injection well and production well so earlier when it is drilling so that replacement process it is also comes under work over operation so zone transfer replace artificial lift equipment stimulation as we have uh, stimulation is nothing but involving hydraulic fracturing or acid stimulation so these are all the process that comes under work over so work over operations can be done with the use of conventional rigs or it is called as non conventional system it is nothing but small rigs which can perform all those drilling even k tubing and casing operations but at specific scale it can perform with only with this temperature maybe let's say formation pressure is 5000 psi make we can make use of this system so this is what a conventional rig is but moreover we make use of different units which come into this non conventional systems so non conventional systems involves coil tubing unit snubbing unit and wire line unit for performing the all those work over operations so i have been uh, supposed to explain you what is the difference between work over and well intervention work over is done when the well is completely stopped from its production well intervention is done when the well is producing so i hope you could understand the difference during work over operation the production of the well will be stopped and the operation will be done later on the well will start will allow the well to produce various in case of well intervention the well will be producing and the work will be done to be simple if you go on google it you could find the work over in one tab and well intervention in one tab you'll be having you'll be finding two different pics in well intervention you'll be having christmas tree various in work over you will be having blood preventer so this is what the basic a fundamental difference between work over and well intervention so in work over we'll be replacing we'll be removing christmas tree and we'll installing this blow out preventer for carrying out the operation various in well intervention will be having the christmas tree to its same place and perform all other operations what we need this is two major difference between work over and well intervention various in this presentation will be describing will be discussing more precise about work over and its units i mean it's non conventional system and co or conventional rigs so let's move forward so non conventional systems are widely classified into three one is wire line units one is coil tubing units one is snubbing units so we'll be having some precise information about all this all this unit so let's move ahead and i'll just describe you each and everything well coil tubing is also one of the important techniques which is used in work over operation so in this slide you could see there are two pictures one is from schlumberger oil field and one picture it's from furrer energy services so from the picture a of schlumberger you could have a clear field outline what really happens from outside whereas in furrer energy services you have an in depth view what really a coil tubing does so coil tubing is nothing but a continuous length of flexible pipe wound on spool that is straightened prior to pushing into a well bore 
so that spool is nothing but a winch which you could see in this full energy services there is a reel which is pointed out as reel it has maximum up to 15000 feet of flexible pipe this coil tubing it is really helpful to perform lots of well intervention operations like squeeze cementing or recording some data or maybe in some cases it is used as tubing in depleted gas wells this has happened and some data have been there in oil field history it has been done by using
reaction is created by fluid flowing through the tool versus reciprocation of the coil tubing string. First it was developed by After the prong has been recovered, the only change required to the BHA is to remove the hydraulic releasable overshot and replace it with a hydraulic releasable spear. Any scale or fill can be circulated from the internal fishneck of the lock assembly prior to attempting engagement. The lock assembly can be removed from the nipple with the impact forces created by the Weatherford impact hammer. Now that the abandonment plug has been been removed, the well bore will need to be prepared for future operations. The Weatherford CTD motor and jaws under reamer will be used to remove scale and debris at a depth below the nipple profile at 9,300 feet. The tubing will be under reamed to a depth of 9,900 feet. Use of under reaming technology allows removal of scale from tubulars used below smaller tubulars or profile nipples. Perforating or setting packers can now be done in a scale-free environment. The need to permanently abandon the depleted oil zone still exists. The new zone of interest is at well, approximately is 9,500 feet, so the abandonment plug will be set at 9,800 feet. So this the abandonment plug will be set using Weatherford's safe and cost-efficient slick pump setting tool. And even for plugging. So thus the slick pump setting tool allows the operator to set virtually any conventional plug or packer without the use of explosives. In this instance, we used a cast iron bridge plug. The use of electric line and Weatherford's selective perforating system will allow the operator to make multiple perforations in a single wireline trip. The perforating assembly is logged onto depth and perforations are made at 9,450 feet and 9,400 feet. The jet pack system consists of two packers, spacer pipe as required between packers, a set down unloader to equalize the system after each setting, and a stimulation valve. The stimulation valve is placed between the packers to activate the setting of the packers. Once the packers are set, pump rate is increased, causing the stimulation valve to open further. After the initial set of perforations have been pressure tested, stimulated or injected into, the system can be unset and moved to a different setting depth or retrieved from the well. The jetpack stimulation system has been chosen over other selective stimulation systems due to its ability to be set and unset multiple times, does not require tubing reciprocation and does not utilize slips which may damage the tubing. Making future plans for field-wide developments can be made easily and accurately through the use of production logging equipment. This evaluation process is conveying a capacitance array tool in combination with caliper log via slick line. The logging is performed in memory mode, stored in the tool and downloaded once the tools are retrieved to surface. Based upon the information downloaded from the cat log, the decision was made that a plugging device should be run to shut off the inflow of water from the perforation made at 9,450 feet. Review of the information from the caliper log indicated a slight casing collapse just below the upper set of perforations. An inflatable retrievable bridge plug with a smaller outside diameter than a conventional bridge plug would be required to be able to pass the collapse and plug off the water producing perforations. The IRBP is run using Weatherford's electric pump setting tool. So hope you would have seen some basic information about what workover and its different conventional rigs and its units. So this is how workover plays a vital role in a lifetime of a well. It is it is mandatory and it is happening.
it is done several times in a producing well or the lifetime of well will involve more than 10 to 15 times of work over operations so it, it involves a very major role and we all as a budding engineers we should concentrate in this particular unit so that we could have pres more knowledge about it could fetch you good opportunities so if there is any further more questions on this particular topic you can request us or you can comment us in comment box or if there is any errors and please do comment us in co error box we are ready to correct us and even we are ready to clarify your doubts thank you for your patience bye bye